stop. Stop building anchors like this. It's not safe. <laughs> Welcome. Hope you're having an amazing day. Glad you chose to take a few minutes and watch this video. Hopefully it saves your life or one of your canyon partners or somebody else you may not even know. Canyon anchors are being built in a particular way right now that are just unsafe and not necessarily you shouldn't use them, but you really need to understand why they're not safe and what you need to do to better protect yourself and your group so that you can use them and get through with them. So let's discuss this. I'm seeing more and more now over the last several years, anchors that are being built with a single strand of webbing. Yeah, now I've used them. I'll use them in the future still on certain occasions but you need to understand what is going on with them and why they're unsafe and what you can do to make them better. So let's talk about it. Really? You've got a good single solid object here, a tree, a boulder or something. You wrap a single loop around there, tie it off with a overhand knot, run a single line down to the edge and over the edge so that your repeat or quick link or whatever hangs over the edge. This makes perfect sense for an easy pull. Um, if you haven't seen the video on anchors, linking that right up here that we did just to kind of discuss anchor dynamics a little bit more and what you should consider in building an anchor. But one of the reasons people do this is because of that easy pull on that end. With that end hanging over that edge, it makes that pull so much easier to retrieve your rope on. Makes sense. However, it makes a really awkward start to get onto that. If you've got to hang all the way off the edge, <laughs> I'll link this video here I did of Constrict Nine Canyon where I was really hanging off the edge to get onto that. Uh, I've seen a couple of these anchors this year in canyons. You got to understand them. but get off on that you really have to pay attention and focus and it can be kind of dangerous so a couple of things you can do to make this anchor right here a little bit safer for your entire group let's start with a courtesy anchor the way this is set up here you can do one of two things to create a courtesy anchor quick and simple way is with another carabiner, bring that loop that your repeat is into, loop it back, clip into that loop around the tree. It's not the greatest pull on that knot, it's not pulling in the perfect direction, but it's better than letting your whole group hang off that edge to try and get onto this. So now, Everyone can get on that anchor, hook into that rope, repel off the edge. You're gonna have to monitor the edge with your rope so that your rope doesn't get damaged and frayed. <clears throat> but everyone can get on that without having any issues. The other option you can do is taking that single strand, tying an overhand on a bite, somewhere up on top here. I like to make that overhand as small as possible just so that I'm not losing a lot of webbing going down canyon. And then once again, it's just attaching the carabiner into that overhand and bringing that final loop right up to connect into that. You do this for everybody in the group, but the last man down. The last man down is going to disconnect that carabiner. Take your carabiner with you, obviously. If you leave it behind, let me know which canyon you go into. I'll come clean it for you. But you leave it just like that. And now you've only got one person 
that has to hang over that edge in the end. Only one person has to rub that webbing on that edge when they go over. So that's the quick and easy way to fix this problem with one piece of single webbing hanging down. You have no redundancy in this. If this breaks, you're falling. Somebody's falling if that breaks while you're hanging on it. So you wanna mitigate that edge protection, bring that repeat back up, and make it so that only one person in the group has to repel over that edge like that. It's a lot safer for everybody. Hope that makes sense. Let's talk about making this better on the next video and how we can improve our webbing. Come on back for that. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Come join us on some adventures and we'll see you in the next one.